All right, everyone, welcome back to Hardcore Heroes. This is episode number 24, in which we watch the best and the absolute worst of all the hardcore players around the world. Everyone in the chat Hashtag is saying, hi, YouTube. Taunt, 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 taunt. Oh, we are in Blackwing Lair Hardcore. Wow. <laughs> I am going to die. I can feel my death. It's coming. Yeah, this is, bro, this pull is notoriously scary. All right, I'm it is. Premonition. Bad threat. Max melee range. Let's look at our Holy Paladin here. Their gear is actually insane. It's, they, have, they, have, they, have, they have Yindo's healing mace, tier 2 helmet and shoulders. Their gear is really good. Damn. This is the end okay. of Amy Hardcore. Oh, I just DC'd. You DC'd. Did we learn the spinning on square? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Fucking... See, if you're getting hit, oh, what? Been flagged okay, it's not the Yindo. Like... I think you got... You got flagged? Wait, what was your name prior to getting DC'd? Can I rewind? Uh, you're some pal player... Right here! Look! Player HV something something something. They got flagged for a rename... And it's showing up on the frames. Blizzard, what are you doing? The, I, this person's name is Calamity, normally. <gasps> no way. Did the, did the name report? Oh. Yep, hold on. <laughs> Oh no. I'm being grieved. <laughs> wow. We got you. <laughs> you requested the reports. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, so this person asked a bunch of people to mass report them? I need. Do you have another pally or are you account banned? I'm good. One sec. I'll be right there. <laughs> Does this person have four hardcore 60s? Does this person have, sorry, f five? I don't know how to count. Five hardcore 60s on Bloodsail Buccaneers? Just that is fucking rename. hilarious. <laughs> see, just, just a rename, right? Yeah, just be a rename, yeah. Saying. Yo, so after saying, raid, everyone You can't see it? Well, there's five of them. Okay. There's five. Wait, not now. Can we learn the smoke? I'm gonna grab Stola real quick. Okay, I'm back in. Okay. On the same I'm pallet? <gasps> it's yeah, same pallet. What if they're dead? Uh, you still show up as offline on my party, friend. A character that name already exists. I'm being griefed. Hold on, guys. I got like DC from in game. I wow, think. dude, this is very annoying mid raid. Okay, guys, calamity got banned. Yeah, we can we, learn we the spell thing in the meantime. Just oh there. no! Does anyone need this? Or? Oh no! All of your keybinds and action bars are going to be reset because they're saved under the under the character name file. Every single thing you have is reset. Oh, bro, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. Yeah. Um, my UI is not <sighs> working. What? You, yeah, you could just open up the folder and then name change the folder to your new name, right? And then that would work, I think, probably. One second. <laughs> yeah, the UI is kind of funny right now. <laughs> oh. A different name. Oh, dude. Anyway. You're mid-raid. That's so annoying to deal with mid-raid. Oh, what a bad blizzard. I just had to get it out there, though. Okay, we are AoE farming the Yetis in Arathi Highlands. Or, sorry, Hillsbred Foothills. In the cave. AoE farming Frost Mage in a cave. There's the Nova. Flame Strike. I think he's gonna pull something behind him. Dude, I am like Nostradamus. I actually, I have these premonitions. Just boom, boom, wow. He pulled something behind him. He pulled two things behind him! And now you this are, uh... Bad quick. It already is bad. It, it, it did. That already happened. That already happened. Can you polymorph? So he doesn't seem to care about that. This is actually really bad. Yeah. Can you polymorph that guy? Yo, do I oh, there's that? already a polymorph out. You just need to run. Bro, just... You just need to run. You need to run. Oh, it's on cooldown. You just need to run. Are we gonna bandage? You need to run. I think I just gotta kill. No! You need to run, my man! Yo, I can't jump because of this Yeti right here. Yup. Oh boy. Get the repoly. You got the repoly? Okay. Okay. He is almost completely um. Wand? Yeah, wand him. Yeah. Oh, don't jump! Evocate. Oh, oh my god. 
He's lucky that other mob padded away. Polymorph, Nova. He's just gonna blast him. He has, he has a lot of mana now. He's gonna blast him. I would have ran a long time ago, honestly. Wait, I could still be dead if I'm not careful. Uh, yep, totally, totally, yep, totally, yep. Nova? Is he dead? You know what? I believe him. I believe in this guy now. I think he's gonna pull through it. I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. He did it. You know, this guy is like alternate timeline me. Right? He's wearing the fucking plaid shirt. He's, you know, a little bit grizzled. He's wearing a hat. White man. He, he like, I've got, I've got a lot in common with this guy. We probably have a lot of, he's playing classic WoW. We probably have a lot in common, this guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. We're trying to kill the malformed de de defy us uh, un undead guy at the, at the tower here. Level 23. Bro, it's like four levels up on you. This is not good. This is not good. Good luck. There's the drone. I'm out of range. Good luck. Inventory. Oh my god. And now it's gonna fail. Watch. Oh no! Oh no. Well. Oh my god, dude. That is... Stuff like this... There's no reason to do that to an orange mob. Like, just just wait a level or two. Just wait a level or two. You don't... You don't like, do you need to do that quest now? Or can you just, out of self-preservation, just wait a level or two? Just wait, like, six hours, you know? <clears throat> oh, okay. So he's fighting the elite dwarves in, uh... In the Dwarf Fortress in uh, Hillsborough Foothills. He pulls Captain Iron Hill with the Curse of Agony. We're kiting, we're kiting, we're kiting. We're kiting, there's the corruption. This guy has a bunch of mobs marked. He's weaving between them. He puts the pen on passive, he brings the pet back. The dots are ticking away. Okay, and once he gets Iron Hill out into the open, up, uh, we pulled a bunch of other elite dwarves, but maybe you can leash them off. Keep running, keep running. Keep running. So our warlock is doing something very smart. Dots do not re-engage, do not reinitiate a leash on a mob. It has to be some sort of direct damage. A dot does not do it. The dots do not keep re-egging. Egg so our Warlock is actually using the Voidwalker every so often. He's having the Voidwalker auto-attack once and then pulling the Voidwalker back off. He's using the Voidwalker to reinitiate the leash. Smart Warlock. <clears throat> you can do it with a wand. Uh, a wand works or, or you could auto-attack him also. Uh, there's the Voidwalker sack. So you got, you got two other elite dwarves, and this is not good. We don't like that. And a tiger. We're fearing one dwarf. There's our hellstone. So this is uh, very, very, very not good. There is a swiftness pot. Yeah, zoom your camera out. Yeah, zoom out. Zoom it out. The tiger leash is off. Okay, now we're fearing the other dwarf that's on us. And now we're just trying to nuke Captain Iron Hill. He's kicked. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. The other dwarf is back. Gotta run. Iron Hill's going down. This warlock is doing something crazy. He's in his early 30s. What spec is our warlock? He is deep destro. He's not playing Affliction. He's not playing Demo. He has Shadowburn. He's a destruction warlock. Ooh, okay, we fear that dwarf. So Iron Hill probably dies here. Yeah, dude, fear juggling is very good. And he did it! So this Warlock player, he knows how to use a Voidwalker. He's playing Deep Destro because the crits are huge. And what? He's chewing Power Gum? It's because he's chewing Power Gum is how he can do that. Easy, easy. It's that easy. He's a Warlock in chat, just like me too. Oh, no, bro. He's these, these guys are down here trying to... 
trying to take the kobold, and then he pulls gold ha he gold ha haze, gold ha haze. Yep. And now you're PVP flagged, and now you're gonna have to die. You know, if if all of these alliance players just banded together to kill this guy, then they would all be safe. If all of them rose up to destroy him, then they'd be good. Or are they just going to watch their 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 dwarf friend die? Oh, someone healed him. Oh, they're all chipping in. They are rising up. They're doing it. They are doing it! Wow! Not this guy, though. Hold up, hold up. Listen. Listen here. Victoria, you, in the Alliance's moment of need, when the Horde encroached deep into Alliance territory, you, Victoria, you ran. You ran like a coward. And then once the threat had been eliminated, then you had the audacity to return. I spit on you. I spit on you! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A warrior as well. A warrior. Not ready yet. Oh, this is not good. Oh, you Shade Claw is invisible. He's a stealth mob. And so tons of noobs are running around Dark Shore, and then Shade Claw pops on him and boom dead. Oh hooey. And you pull Shade Claw. It's very easy. That happens. It's very easy. By the way, Shade Claw spawns always just northeast of the town. Uh, Aberdeen, whatever it's called. Just northeast of the town. True, true, true. Wait, oh, that's a good gouge. Maybe you escape out of this, my brother. Maybe you... We bandage. Just go, just go. You got one tick. Oh, he's coming for you. A gouge again. Oh my god! He got it. He got it. The guard saved him. Nice. We are level 33 coming down here to get the tablets. And the murlocs are orange, level 37. You're going to pull them through the wall and you're going to die. So you're going to die now. So you're going to have to die now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's our bubble. So, you're gonna die now. These murlocs are, uh, they are not nice. They don't like paladins. Oh my god. As if it couldn't get worse, he disconnects as he's swimming up. Because he's holding the space bar. This is, this is the, this, listen, if you guys can extract one piece of advice from this video, this is important. If you are in combat underwater, never hit your spacebar. You can point your camera upwards and hold the W key or hold both your mouse buttons down to move. You can hold the S key if you want to swim backwards. Never hit the spacebar. If you're in combat other, underwater, you will disconnect. That's the bug. Combat plus water plus spacebar equals disconnect. That's what it is. That is what it is. Everything else is fine, though. Okay. So he was hitting that space bar. No way. Yes way. That is what it is. And he's going to be dead when he logs in. He's dead now. Because he's tanking two elite murlocs. Oh, boy. <clears throat> That's the last time you're going to see that paladin alive. Right there. Oh, my God. The murlocs leashed off. Just miraculously, the murlocs leashed off. Wow. Hacker? He's a he's an epic hacker. I cannot believe that. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude, this, guy, this guy's heart is racing. You're going for Curzon on a rogue. Solo. Good luck. There's evasion. We've got 10 more seconds of evasion. So Colonel Curzon is, is elite, a level 40 elite, of course. There's the iron grenade. Uh-oh. He shot him, no scoped him. All right, okay, evasion is gone. We pop stone form. Saving stone form for after evasion, smart. This guy has thought about this. This guy's thinking about this. 
You know what? I think he might be able I think he might be able to do this. Uh do we have a potion still? Oh my god, bro, you need to like kidney and bandage or something. Ga gouge and bandage. Yeah, gouge and bandage and then and then kidney coming out of this if you can. Yes. Yeah, we don't have a pot. Okay, you are blinded for a second. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. Where's our kidney? Where's our kidney? You have five points. You've got five points. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> that was insane. That was insanely... Listen, I'm not a rogue man. Why did he not kidney? I'm thinking he needs to kidney. Is there something I don't know about why he didn't kidney? I think he should have kidneyed. Where's the kidney shot? I don't know. Just greed? He yeah, that's what that's what it looks like to me. Banana -na is killing the enraged panther in Thousand Needles. This is a horde quest. Uh, and uh, by the way, this is an elite mob. So I've done this before. No, it's it's not a horde quest. Everyone can do this. It's alliance also. Um, yeah. Normally, like this, normally you can fear the mob, you can kite the mob. It's not that hard if you're a class that can fear or kite or root or something. But we're on a warrior. So... You can hamstring, bleed, kite. Hamstring, bleed, kite. And uh, it'll take you a half hour to do that, but maybe do that. Hamstring, bleed, kite. Hamstring, bleed, kite. There's retail. He's going in. <clears throat> We don't have a potion. We already potted. Overpower. Bro, you need the luckiest crits of all time to pull this off. Execute. Do you have anything? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shoot him. Shoot him. There it is. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, he had a bomb still also. That was close. Wow. But you know why? You know why he pulled out of that one successfully? Because he was chewing power gum, the best gamer energy supplement in the entire world of Warcraft. That's true. That's true. We're killing condors up in uh, Red Ridge Mountains for Red Ridge Goulash. And he is a Red Paladin and he is wearing the dress as a good Red Paladin does. Oh, you're such a nice guy. He's healing this warrior who is tanking three of these orcs and, the, and this guy over here is netted also. This is the nicest Paladin ever. Honestly, I, I don't do this. I wouldn't do this. No. Nope. And now you have threat on uh, one of them. There's the target dummy. You bubble. Good luck. Warrior, listen, you're on your own now, bro. Run, run, run. Our warrior is netted again. Again. Okay, the warrior was successfully able to kill one of them. The target dummy is now dead. Which means our paladin has threat on both of them. Okay, the warrior is, is nice. He returns the favor. He picks up one. The paladin is seal of command. Hodge, auto-attacking. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Mm hmm. Thrilling Red Paladin. And they pulled through, and they pulled through. And another rogue player hops in and helps him out. Careful, man. This guy, he says, Holy crap, TY, I was done. What a, what a cute interaction. What a cute interaction. This guy is, is like the classic Red Paladin player. He's just helping out. Yeah, that warrior would have died. <clears throat> he would have, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Ah, you have threat on th three of these. We pop evasion. We already popped sprint, but sprint was kind of wasted. Uh, this is looking not good. One of them is dead. You have two more to go. You're about half HP. You still have a potion, though. He misses the, the, the gouge. Now he has a Frost Mage NPC attacking him. So now he's taking three mobs. And he has Frostbolt slow. Yep. There's our potion. Uh, we gouge. That one lands. That one sticks. We pull an... Okay, it's, it's over. It's over. He pulled a peasant. It's the peasant. It's the peasant. And we're just getting dazed for days. Never turn your back to him. Chat. Chat. Always strafe run. Strafe? Strafe run. Strafe it out. Strafe it out. Okay. That's how we do... He lives with... He lives with 4 HP? He lives with 4 HP. He lives with 4 HP. I wonder if anyone has made it all the way to 60 
just based off pure luck. Do you think do you think someone has made it all the way to 60 and had like 50 of these experiences along the way and they just get lucky every time? They get lucky every single time. Stuff like this, if you're playing like this, it'll catch up to you. It will. It'll catch up to you. You're probably not going to be lucky like that again is what I'm saying. Lord Melanos. Okay, we are in the cave in uh just north of Dolinar. And we're killing Lord Melanos. We need to get his head. But you pulled two imps alongside Melanos, and that is uh, not good. I don't think you're going to be able to leash those imps off either. So now you have the bleed. Melanos is bleeding you down. You have four imps. There's a little baby potion. Jump down. He is greedy. He wants Melanos. It's not... Bro, it's not... Bro, it's not... Bro, he just missed two bow shots too. And now you jump into the imp pit. Welcome to the imp pit! And so you're going to die. So you're going to die now. He's, you know, he's going to live. He's going to live. He's going to live. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. He had a very lucky resist there. I cannot believe he's not dead. And then also conveniently, uh, all of the imps on the way out are dead. Like someone else killed those. Just very convenient timing. He lives. I cannot believe that. So lucky. So lucky. Where is the Shadow Meld, bro? You are a classic Wrath of the Lich King player. In classic Wrath, you can Shadow Meld mid-combat. It's like a Vanish. In classic Vanilla, you can't Shadow Meld in combat. Okay? So Shadow Meld is really only good for going AFK and pooping. If you need to go microwave some Hot Pockets, but you don't want to log out, you can Shadow Meld. There. That's how you, that's how you Shadow Meld. In Vanilla WoW. The Wrath Shadow Meld is like insanely good, though. That's true. That's true. Die, demon dogs. Are you real? Are you really doing this escort? Are you really doing the Jadenar escort right now? Are the audacity of you to do this? We are in Jadenar. I cannot believe that you would do that. I can't. I cannot believe it. One, two, three, four, five, five Jadenar mobs. Okay. Now, I believe, I believe our druid here is level 57, so you are a little bit over-leveled. And also, let's be, let's be honest, feral druids are very good. Feral druids are very, very capable. So he realizes that his, his quest mob is getting low HP, so he tries to pull all of the mobs off the quest mob to keep the quest mob alive. But now you're tanking them, and now you're low HP, and now you're back to cat form popping sprint, running in circles. I don't know what the plan was. Time to go. Gotta go. But all of these mobs are back up, so you gotta deal with them now, too. Uh, you still have a potion. You also have innervate. Okay, we shift out. Pop a rejuve. There's our potion. Now you're dazed. You're tanking two Jadenar Legionnaires. And the squad is catching up also. There's the knockup. You're getting hit by Shadow Bolts. Regrowth, 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 regrowth. Oh, no. You're dead. You're dead. Bear form. We're back in bear form. We have one hot ticking doing anything it can to keep us alive. So, you probably shouldn't be attacking these mobs. You should, you should be not attacking, hoping that they leash off, right? You should try to leash the mobs. We're popping hots. We have Innervate ticking. Innervate is ticking. Uh, they leashed off. Oh, my God. You... Episode number 24 of Hardcore Heroes, this is the episode where these players get insanely lucky. Like, this is the good luck episode. I cannot believe. This is like 10 different people who have had the most insane luck I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, and then you're gonna live. And then you live. You're not in combat anymore either. And now you go stealth. I cannot be- and that's it. I cannot believe this episode. This is the luckiest episode I have ever seen in my life. Like 10 different people. I cannot believe that. That's Hardcore Heroes episode number 24. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be back in a couple days with Hardcore Heroes episode number 25. Thank you very much. Um, as always, you can show support and love and kindness to all of these Hardcore Heroes. You can go and visit their channels. Go drop a like or a comment or a subscription to those people. You can find a link to their channels in the, in the description of this video down below. Also, make sure to like this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, and stick around. Come back for the next one. This, this episode, I... I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe this episode. This is a crazy one. Thank you, guys. I'll be back for the next one. Take care, and as always, stay safe.